story time. I actually had a rough time checking in into this resort because. guys it's Elijah Chow here again so I'm back to vlogging so for today's vlog I'm going to Soleya Maktan Cebu Resort and I'm gonna be taking you there as we go along with the family because some of my cousins are actually here in Cebu for vacation they are actually from Manila and in this video I'm gonna share with you the rates what to do and what to expect there and also probably I'm gonna be sharing with you some facts about staying in Soleya Cebu Resort Soleya Maktang Resort rather so yeah join with me in this vlog and before anything else don't forget to hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell below for more videos soon in this channel actually Soleya is one of the most affordable resorts here in Maktan Island other resorts actually costs more than 10,000 per night already. Okay guys, so I need to gas up. I have like two bars in the car right now. So I'm probably gonna go to Caltech because it's the nearest. I just want to share with you some of my thoughts about living alone. So I actually am not yet living alone or not yet living independently because I'm still with my parents. I'm still with my family even at my age. And yes, I am already 27 years old now and I'm still not yet living alone. I know it sounds odd for non-Filipino people but uh, it is actually normal here in the Philippines. So that is part of the culture. My own thoughts about this is that I think it would be really good. Why? Because I think living alone would help you explore and create more things on your own and you can also live independently. I know it's not easy to live independently. It's pretty basic but it's not normal here in the Philippines. So I was actually like huggling, still huggling with my mom that I want to live alone but they don't want me to. Let me know in the comments if your parents will let you go or your Filipino parents will allow you to live alone. What's the name of your room number? 216? Hello? The room is assigned to the building. Oh, okay. There's no room. There's no room. There's no room. Okay guys, so story time. I actually had a rough time checking in into this resort because I was like asking for a room which was supposed to be near my cousin and my aunt's room in a separate building but I was assigned to a room further away from them which is so far and it's so hot outside. It's so hard to like transport Let's say food or stuff going there, but it's okay though I need to breathe So let me just tour you to this room. Okay, so when you enter the room, you're gonna be seeing the balcony right there, which is so cool and There's a mirror a full body mirror over here on the left and of course, there, free water and also some condiments such as coffee, creamer, and sugar. We have a safety deposit box and a mini graph, of course. Take 
to look and see it. Brush kits. So and cool. They're all here by the little showers and yes, I think I can open that one. Let's see. With glue here because it's just so aesthetic. There's like a glass area right there, and I think that's the water park over there, as you can see. So okay, I don't think I'm gonna stay there for long because it's too hot outside. Anyways, I am gonna close this window over here because I don't want too much light. So actually, Soleya gave me like this full towel card and two of these it's their key card and they also gave me this like leaflet or like a brochure where you can see the resort map of Salea this is cool actually as you can see the resort is so huge you have a lot of activities to do here for the price I think it is really worth it but I just don't like it now because I'm so far with my family. I'm gonna eat now. So this is actually my favorite meal in McDonald's. This is the chicken filet a la king. Let me know in the comments if you also love this meal. I'm gonna eat now because I'm so hungry. And time check, it is now 12.33. I will try to go to the other building later. It's so far. Let me share with you guys how much we paid for this one, for this room, and all the activities that they have. We actually paid around 6,688, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we actually paid 6,688 net per room. And rates are inclusive of breakfast buffet for two adults already, which is good, huh? Because uh, the last time I went to their buffet breakfast, it was really great. 30 minutes use of stand-up paddle, kayaking, or biking. So that's for free already. That's part of the package. And there is 30 minutes free access of the game room. And free of pools, beach, and one-time access to inflatable water park or f and specials. So yeah, for me, that's already solid. Because... I don't think you can find a resort that would offer the same amenities. This is not sponsored, guys, by the way. I am not a famous vlogger. So I'm just sharing it with you for your information. And for the love of making vlogs. Hi, guys. Hi, Cali boy. Hi, Isha girl. <laughs> Girl, hey. say hello. hello Kilala nyo to, guys. <laughs> um, si ano? Althea Ablan. <laughs> <laughs> Palagi siya na pagkakamalan na si Althea Ablan. Let's go. Dami ng tatanong. Not once, not twice, but many times. <laughs> Ready? Get it? Go! The other building is 5 to 10 minutes away. <laughs> 5 to 10 minutes away from the other building. Right, Kali? Hi. <laughs> Ganito siya guys. So, again. We are going to Kali's room. Lock the door, lock. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 I'm 
masarap ba? Masarap. Strawberry flavor. Wow. Okay guys, so we have successfully transferred to another room. Just right across or just right beside the other room of my cousins. So yeah, thank you MJ for giving us a chance to change our room. <laughs> <laughs> because yung isang staff hindi kami binigyan ng chance. But anyway, it's bigger now and malapit na lang sa kanila. <laughs> Hirap pala magkatito na vlogger. Oh my god, guys. So ayan na nga. Ano yun? Cousin pala. Cousin. Piling ko kasi young pa ako eh. Kaya tinatawag ko si Isha na cousin ko. But, biologically, pamangkin ko na siya. So, yum! Frank Lundin. kami ngayon dito. Okay, guys. Ang laki ng sulaya, guys. So, ayan na nga siya. Sobrang dami nilang pool. Okay, guys. So, we are given this coupon. Kasama na sa package. So, borrow me a bike, miss. Uh, the available bike now is yung blue, yung my tenth bike and mountain bike. Ah, sige, one coupon, one bike. Ah, okay, one coupon, one bike. Pero kapag di ba isang coupon lang dito bibigay sa ano, sa isang room. Kapag nag bike kayo, ma'am, hindi na kayo pwede ma kaya kaya or SUV. Ano yeah. SUV? Isa na paddle. Ah, isa na paddle. So isa yeah. lang talaga yung yeah. nagagamit natin. You need to choose only one, either kaya, bike, and Okay. Um, Okay guys, so we actually inquired for the coupon. It's just only good for one kahit good for two yung room nyo. So, ewan ko lang. Dapat mag-print pa tayo ng isa. Oo, dapat i-photocopy nyo na lang. Ang ganda ng ano, parang pwede tayong mag-ano dito, mag-tumbling-tumbling. Ah, ayan. Ay, sana may cloud. Oo nga eh, bakit parang walang cloud? Nakapatakot na yung jellyfish ko kasi recently lang guys, may namatay sa ano, patayan. Dahil sa isang box jellyfish, kaya be careful. Sunog na kami. Yes po. Sunog na po kami para po sa vlog. So ayan na po, babalik na po. Oo nga eh. Parang wala kaming ginagawa pero parang may remote control yata si Nakuya. Ayaw kong maligay sa beach-ish. Gusto mo ba? Ayaw ko. Green? Green, di ba? Tignan niyo yung beach nila dito. Parang green. yung naka lifeguard. Sabi niya ang mga ang mga ang tatandaan na nito. <laughs> Sorry naman.
Just please let me share my review of our overall experience in Saleya Magtan Cebu Resort. So basically, I really had a great experience there. We enjoyed our stay. There are pros and there are cons in the stay. So the pros would be that they have really a lot of choices of pools, especially for kids. They really have a lot of activities to do. So hindi ka talaga mauubusan ng mga activities na magagawa mo doon. And as well as you can also do kayaking, stand up paddle boarding. It will depend actually on your package. And kasama na din doon yung inflatable water park. The inflatable water park was really good. It's just that I had an injury, a little injury in my leg because I fell off. And then I fell off in a like a hard rope. It was like an alambre kung sa bisaya pa. And my leg was like hit by it when I fell off. So, Anyway, uh, I would say that it was such a good adventure and very exciting to do it with your common kids, cousins, and your families. And regarding the cons, because of its huge place, you really have to like walk from point to point. Say for example, from your room, you have to like travel or walk under the heat of the sun for let's say five to ten minutes overall it's really a big resort what's funny is that remember yesterday i was not able to like get a room which is near my cousin when my aunt was the one who like talked to the front desk personal they gave a room in an instant so shout out again to mj who gave out the room for us uh, she she like considered our request and the other guy who was in the front desk did not actually consider because he, he said it's fully booked but it was actually not. I don't know but maybe he has his own reasons. So yeah, that's it for today's vlog guys. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Like, share and subscribe. Bye!